Um, the authorities the other day in Southern California have seized more than 16 tons of marijuana that was worth an estimated one point that, that was worth an estimated one billion dollars. Um, damn, somebody was trying to start a fucking business. <laughs> um, and the cops always fuck with somebody's business anyway. So Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department officials said on Wednesday that the 10-day sting is the largest eradication of, of illegal marijuana cultivations in the history of the, of the department. Um, the operation, which began on June 8th, resulted in 22 felony arrests and 109 misdemeanor arrests and 19 arrests from water, from water theft and enforcement teams. The official said more than 200 locations were served um, were served um, with, um, with search warrants. Nearly 375,000 marijuana plants and 33,480 pounds of harvested marijuana were seized, along with 65 vehicles, 180 animals, and $28,000. Officials say they believe the international cartels are behind the legal large-scale marijuana farms, but we're, we're not talking about just farms, we're talking about cartels. Lancaster, California, Mayor, Mayor Rex um, Paris said at a Wednesday press conference, we are not talking about mom and pop people selling marijuana that they grew in their backyard, but this is the cartel. We are very, we are very, very close to driving down the freeway and, ser and seeing bodies hanging from the overpass, and that's what, and that's what this is coming to. While California legalized the recreational use of marijuana in 2018, the illegal growth of the crop have been on the rise in the state. Detectives from the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, um, the, nar the narcotic bureau portion, identified over 500 illegal marijuana cultivations in 2021. Um, which was um, increasing from the 150 that they identified in 2020, according to a June statement. Detectives found that the average um, size per cultivation at farms increased to 15 greenhouses, which was up from eight the year prior. And what uh, it says, what we what we want to do is send a clear and loud message to the cartels and anyone doing an illegal operation in the high desert that your days are over and that we're fucking coming for you," said the Los Angeles County Sheriff Alex Villanueva. The Los, the Los Angeles County Supervisor Catherine Barger said the um, said the impacts of illegal of illegal marijuana cultivation by cartels include water theft, human trafficking, pollution, and threats to safety and security. And this illegal activity is impacting the quality of life for residents and businesses. And it felt and 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 if left unaddressed, it will have long lasting and de de devastating effects in the region. Um, Barger said. Now. Um, she called on the district attorney to prosecute those arrested in the operation. Bill Villanueva said that he will share the district attorney's prosecution decision publicly once it's been once it's made available. And this is an issue that is plaguing and will continue to plague if we do not make it very uncomfortable. And one way to make it uncomfortable is to prosecute people. Berger said. Yeah, I said I don't think they should prosecute them. I said they were only trying to start a business.